Hello, dear friends. I am a citizen of Georgia for 11 years. But unfortunately, I have really bad news today. As you know, yesterday, August 3rd at 4.15 a.m., a huge human disaster occurred. The flow of water, which brought trees and mud, completely destroyed the houses of many our compatriots. But the biggest horror that could have happened. Friends, Georgia lost lives, the lives of its many citizens, and we are already few. Because a large part of Georgians, the citizens of Georgia, are now looking for their happiness abroad. It's terrible, really terrible. Like you, I don't know much about the government's plans. I'm sure of only one thing, that in all post-Soviet countries, it all happens in the same blurred way. Because human lives means little. As long as there is no democracy, it will be like this everywhere. Now we don't have planes, helicopters, we don't have equipment. But I want you to consider one thing. Many things will be done. Yes, we already hear complaints that the rescuers didn't arrive on time, etc. We will hear more, but we don't care about that now. Now we must unite to do for those people everything we would do for ourselves, because no official can do that. This is a job for them, for us, and for my almost 90,000 compatriots. who are registered on our site and help people not only with money, but also with their souls. This is the work of the soul. Let's think about it. Let's take the problem of every child, elderly, sick person, and someone traumatized by natural disasters as our own. Nobody will do it but us. So let's take matters into our hands. I need your advice. We at the Foundation need advice what and how you would do in our place. Someday, everything will be different, of course, but this is what we have for now. Advice is needed. Now, we're not only addressing those citizens of Georgia who do not live in Raja or nearby areas, but also those who are in the disaster zone. We need to know about your problems. Write to us on the site, what do you need first? Today we are opening an account to collect funds And those who have ever worked with us, this is almost 90,000 permanent people and hundreds of thousand one-time helpers, everyone knows very well that we are responsible for every Tetri. And my money also takes part in solving all the problems, together with the money that the kind people donate. Because the purpose of my foundation, apart from helping, although it is very important, is also to open people's souls and motivate them to give a helping hand to someone they don't know, they probably never met and never hear thank you from. Because as it is written in the Bible, if you help a stranger whom you do not know and you do not receive gratitude from them, God will reach out to you and thank you personally. And how it will happen? We will talk about this later, when we solve the problem. How to spend the collected money rationally? We will decide later. First, we need to understand what amount we should expect. Do not doubt that my money too will be used to solve this problem. The number of people who died as a result of the landslide in Raja has increased by now. 
six people have been found. But this is not true. I do not believe in any government statistics. Once again, because human life means nothing in a post-Soviet country, it costs nothing. Important official's life may mean something, but not life of a simple man. 35 people can't be contacted in the disaster zone. And Georgia has one of the best connections in the entire Soviet Union, by the way. Therefore, almost all these people are lost forever. Here, according to the geologist Merabka Prindashvili, a natural disaster of such scale has not happened in Western Georgia ever. If we do not count the earthquake that happened in Raja in 1991. When the whole village was destroyed. But that is the past. And what is happening today is a real disaster. You will see this in the video clips, the clips that I will show you, that my staff have put together. The rescue operation is still on. According to government, there are a lot of helicopters and equipments on the ground, but let's leave this issue aside. Let them do their work. Electricity supply has been cut off in several villages in Shovi. The landslide took away the bridge and roads. That's why rescuers are able to reach the tragedy area only with helicopters, which complicates the search and rescue of people. At the moment, the landslide zone is no longer expanding. If so, every day I watch the world news. If it is no longer dangerous, the government should have announced that everyone with transport should go and large-scale public operation should be held. And large-scale public operation should be held. People would look for victims and try to pull them out of the mud. Maybe someone can still be saved. I tried to send my employees there today, but the director of the fund categorically refused. She said that if someone dies, she will be put in prison. I don't know what the rules are in Georgia, and we don't have that many people. By the way, we will start collecting things soon. So if anyone has any new stuff, new is not necessary. Clean, washed. If they are in good condition and are not too old, we are not rag collectors. Prepare them. I will soon find someone to collect them. I don't have such a person yet, unfortunately. I am constantly announcing and looking for employee. If anyone wants this job, we are waiting. Salary will also be good. So I have nothing else to say yet. God have mercy. I hope you heard my heart and will participate in this program. Be sure to call today if you have someone you know or have a relative in Raja, find out what is happening there and be sure to let me know. I love you all. Hugs to you all. Citizen of Georgia, Leonid Chernovetsky.